welcome to Side Stories. Hi, and welcome to Sign Stories. We've got two books from the story tree today. The first one's called When a Monster is Born. There are different kinds of monsters, but what happens if it's an under your bed monster? And what happens if you make friends with it and take it to school? When a monster is born, there are two possibilities. Either it's a far away in the forests monster, or it's an under your bed monster. If it's a far away in the forests monster, that's that. But if it's an under your bed monster, there are two possibilities. Either it eats you, or you make friends and take it to school. If it eats you, that's that. But if you take it to school, there are two possibilities. Either it sits quietly, does its homework, and becomes the first monster to play for the school basketball team. Or it eats the head teacher. If it sits quietly, that's that. But if it eats the head teacher, there are two possibilities. Either it growls, yummy, and dances boogie woogie, or it growls, sorry, and walks off through the wall. If it dances boogie woogie, that's that. But if it walks off, there are two possibilities. Either it sits in the park and scratches its head, or it takes a deep breath and sets off for the far away forests. If it sits in the park, that's that. But if it sets off for the far away forests, there are two possibilities. Either it finds an expensive hotel on the way and decides to sleep in it, or it goes round the back of the hotel finds a broken umbrella and decides to sleep under that. If it sleeps in the expensive hotel, that's that. But if it sleeps under the umbrella, there are two possibilities. Either a kitchen girl comes out tips a saucepan of porridge over the monster's head. Or, the kitchen girl notices the monster and stops in her tracks. If the kitchen girl tips porridge over the monster's head, that's that. But if the kitchen girl stops in her tracks, two possibilities. Either the monster gives her the fright of her life and she runs off 
shouting, Help! 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 Or the monster gives her a rose and they fall in love. If the girl runs off shouting, Help! 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 That's that. But if they fall in love, there are two possibilities. Either she kisses the monster and it turns into a handsome young man. Or it kisses her and she turns into a monster. If the monster turns into a handsome young man, that's that. But if the girl turns into a monster, there are two possibilities. Either the monster says, Ugh, you look horrible now. Or the monster says, Look, I'm a monster. You're a monster. Let's get married! If the monster says, That's that. But if the monster says, Let's get married! There are two possibilities. Either the two of them live happily together and have a baby monster. Or, they eat each other. If they eat each other, that's that. But if they have a baby monster, there are two possibilities. Either it's a far away in the forests monster, or it's an under-your-bed monster. Here's another book from the story tree called You and Me. Do you have a baby brother or sister? When a new baby arrives, everything seems to change. I'm nearly dressed. Baby always wriggles. Ouch! Don't do that! Why is Baby laughing? Are you giggling at my funny dance? Oh no, the baby's shouting. What's wrong? Baby likes my friend more. What about me? Oh no, we don't want you to move that. What's the matter? Don't you like this? Can we read a story now baby's resting? Where are we going? Can we go faster? Can you balance that block on the top? Do you want the duck? I'll have the sponge. Cuddle up. 
bedtime books are best. Thank you.